This is a video abstract for the paper published by Osorio and others in 2022, published in Signal Image and Video Processing. So I will explain the brief, briefly the, the main idea of the paper. So SSIM is a coefficient to measure similarity between images X and Y. So assume that image, it, we have two available images called X and Y. So the SSIM coefficient is defined as luminance between images X and Y times contrast, contrast between images X and Y times correlation between the images, this to the power alpha, contrast to the power beta, and the correlation to the power gamma, where alpha, beta, and gamma are parameters. So traditionally, this coefficient has been used assuming that alpha is equal to beta is equal to gamma equal to one. So from 20 years ago, uh, all engineers have been using this coefficient assuming these assumptions. So we would like to transform this to an hypothesis problem, to an hypothesis testing problem where the mm, H0 hypothesis is alpha equal to beta equal to gamma equal to one versus uh, H1 that H0 is not true. So the idea is to use the data yeah, uh, available for images X and Y to provide an hypothesis testing to decide if this uh, hypothesis is correct. Uh, so uh, in the paper, we use uh, um, methodology maximum likelihood estimations, but based on a nonlinear model. So the model we use here uh, is a nonlinear regression model uh, that is defined like one divided by root mean square error between images X and Y. This is SSIM times E to the power U, where U is a white noise sequence with mean zero and variance sigma square. So uh, pseudo likelihood is used to approach this problem. So in the paper, we developed some numerical experiments to explore this coefficient in this way, this nonlinear model. We uh, developed some Monte Carlo simulation to uh, get more insights into the performance of this hypothesis testing, in, in, for example, in terms of the power of the test. And also we do some application uh, with SAR imagery to um, gain more insight how this process, this hypothesis te testing works in practice. So I kindly invite you to read the paper.